Good, Good morning, morning cougars. cougars. I'm Xavier. And I'm Avery. And here's what's been going on at the Hills. Have you seen the bags of food that are available before the major holiday like winter break and spring break? Those bags of food do not just appear, they have to be made. It takes a true community to help each other. On Monday, February 27th, several volunteers showed up to assist Ms. Patty in the Cougar Alliance in filling these bags of food. A big shout out to, to a big shout out goes to the alumni, student volunteers, and JORTC. Great job, volunteers. Way to show your cougar pride. Attention all students in U.S. history classes. We are taking a field trip to the JFK Museum in Dallas on May 9th. We will tour the museum and eat barbecue in downtown afterwards. Thanks to community donations, you can attend this trip for the low price of only $5. Pick up permission slips from Ms. Fathery in B305 and get your money turned into Mr. Hickox as soon as possible. Cash only, of course. So first come, first serve basis. Only 50 students will be able to attend this exciting trip. Do you know why golfers wear two pairs of pants? In case he makes a hole in one. Thank you, Coach Ribs, for that golf humor. The Western Hills golf team went to the Holiday Hills tournament this past Monday. Isaiah Rosenberry was the low score in his group. Jordan Bigham, Thomas Rivas, and Bryson Foster made up the rest of the Cougar team. The entire team made strides throughout the day and represented our school very well. Western Hills is having a garage sale. If you have items to donate to the sale, please contact Ms. Patty or any of the cheerleaders. The day of the sale will be Saturday, April 1st from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This cash, the sale will be cash only. The Western Hills Taffy chapter went to the state taffy, taffy contest and did not come back empty-handed. The Western Hills High School team was recognized as an outstanding taffy chapter. They had seven national qualifiers. These students will compete in Florida this summer. Aiden Grismore, Alray Mendez, Terry Iquez, and Alejandra Mares Martinez, they created a video over a new FWISD CTE innovation program. Gabby Huckleberry and Monica Jones created a hands-on biology lesson over Punnett Squares. Elena Montalov gave a speech on why she wanted to be an educator, and she received $1,200 scholarship money for the college of her choice. They also had several plays at state level. Gold Certificate Carrie Medea, Kimberly Villa, and Andrea Torres Rodriguez created your book. Gold Certificate Karen Medina and Abby Kalin created a bulletin board over spreading educational awareness. Gold Certificate Lindsay Mack and Eva Solis created an interactive bulletin board over the decaying process of organs. Bronze Certificate Luigi Nataran and Ruby Rivas created an interactive bulletin board over the five senses. The boys basketball team members are collecting some hardware. We had four of our players in all district honors. First team senior Kaylon Butler, second team junior Malik Elmin, second team junior Stephen Williams, and honorable mention senior Camiris Mays. While Western Hills UIL theater production of Diary of Anne Frank did not advance to the next round, they did, however, walk away with some medals, and that is our win in our book. Izzy Carroll for All-Star Cast, Cruz Perez, Technical Award, Lights, Xavier Richmond, honorable mention in acting. And the cast and crew worked very hard this year and told a wonderful story. The Cougar Band students had a great turnout in the FWISD solo contest on Saturday, February 18th at Rosamont Middle School. Each student performed a piece of solo music for a judge. All of our students earned a gold, silver, gold or silver medal this year, which is an awesome improvement from last year. We also had one student who earned a best in class designation for solo performance on trumpet and percussion, Foy Ellis. The gold medalists for this solo are Emily Kirkpatrick and Karen Paloma for the flute, Alvaro Prado for the bassoon, Elena Montalvo, Ava Maples, and Kurt Roberts, Luis Alcocer, Alejandro Anaya, and for the alto saxophone, Shelby Robinson, Avery Clunt, Jose Mendieta Rubio, Eric Salad Serrato for the trumpet. For Ellis was the best in class for the trumpet. Jaden Lamb, Jaquilin Rodriguez, and Cesar Mendoza for the euphonium, Miguel Murillo, and Nicholas Sanford for the trombone, Aiden Davis, Aaron Nava, and Logan Wagner for the tuba. For Ellis was the best in class for the snare, and lastly, Madison Allen for the marimba. Silver medalists are Nick Mendez for alto saxophone, Leslie Bustamant for trumpet, Alexander Richmond and Ariel Ramez and Kevin Vargas for trombone, Ezekiel Daniels for marumba, and Dante Richards and Cecil Campbell for snare. On Saturday, February 25th, the art department competed in Regional 11 Visual Art Competition. They brought 45 entries and seven of those kids advanced to state. Divisions are based on years of experience in art. Seniors are Carlos Moran and Benicia Galvez. Juniors, 
Bel Gavis, Jimmy Rangel, and Dory Leva. And finally, sophomores, Reed Bowles and Jose Alcala. Also on Saturday, February 25th, the powerlifting season sadly came to an end. Abby Moylan took fourth place at the regional meet. This was her second year in a row meddling at the regional meet. She had a good squat of 285, benched 165, and a deadlift of 315. Abby had a fantastic year along with all the other girls and was a few months away from making state. These girls had a great year going to four meets in a regional meet. Eva Almendez, El Elena Cortez, Brianna Morno, and Abby Moylan are all returning next year and looking to dominate the top sports in their weight classes. On the boys' side, Alexis Yakubu, Orlin Crockett, and Robert Moylan were all first alternates for the regionals this year, which means they are number 13. Everyone that participated in the boys' powerlifting was a first-year lifter and looking forward to getting the stronger and better next year. Varsity baseball team picked up their first win of the season on Monday night against international leadership Arlington, score of 6-0. The victory was fueled by an outstanding performance on the mound by Andrew Zabala. Andrew threw a complete game shutout, going 11 innings strong with 11 strikeouts and only two walks. Offensively, Johan Cifuentes was 1-for-3 with an RBI. RJ Moylan was also 1-for-3 with an RBI as well. And Isaiah Rodenberry also contributed with an RBI of his own. The Western Hills Varsity Boys Soccer Team clinched second place in District 7-4A on Friday night with a 3-0 victory over Dunbar. On Tuesday night, teams traveled to Diamond Hill Jar Jarvis on Tuesday night, and after battling the district foes violently, came up short, the JV boys fell behind 2-0 before halftime. But in the second half, Cafu's Katuda put in a <laughs> rebound after blistering free kick, kick by Angel Salzar, and it seems the comeback was on. While the Eagles created a few chances, the Cougars prepped with the DHJ end of the field with a shot after shot as well as several corner kicks. Meta even hit the crossbar at one point. In the end, the Cougars could not find a second goal. The varsity boys fell by a score of 3-1 to one in what seemed to be a carbon copy of the team's match at Western Hills earlier in the season. The Cougars dominated possession, but the Eagles capitalized on their few chances and took a 3-0 lead into the halftime. Western Hills fought valiantly in the second half, and Emmanuel Nishimina scored on the assist from Hector Palmores, but the Cougars could not get no closer. The boys and girls soccer team will hold a combined senior night tonight at the Western Hills Field. The Lady Cougars will kick off against Bembrook at 5 p.m. The JV boys will follow against the YMLA at 6.30 and the Varsity Boys will close the night against YMLA at 8 p.m. It should be a nice night, so everyone is encouraged to come, and in honor of the students athletes who put in the same time and work to represent our school. Your Lady Cougars softball team opened up district play with a big win against Eastern Hills. They won the game 20-3. Lauren Beckham had a great showing on the rubber, allowing only one hit, followed by a strong offensive front being led by seniors Lauren Beckham and Priscilla Rivers who both had multiple RBIs. Tonight, Diamond Hill comes to town for district home opener. This is a big game for your Lady Cougars, and we'd love to see the stands packed. We will have some noisemakers available to our home crowd, so come out and be loud. On Tuesday, the Western Hills tennis team had a tough tournament, tournament for the players due to the very short notice and the change of date for the later in the week. The players did a good job, and their players against some of the best 6A and 5A teams Roberto Torres and Jimena Miranda won both bronze medals. The updated date for the dodgeball tournament is Tuesday, March 21st. See Dr. Fogel if you have any questions about this event. Well, well Cougars, that's, that's all we have for you today. today. I'm Xavier. And I'm Avery. And, and we, we want to wish you a good day with, with some great, great news. news. Go, Go Cougars! Cougars.